lives for the day. I'm excited to meet everybody through the village and also uh, through the orphanage. It's going to be so cool. I've already met like 10 people and all just the most welcoming and beautiful people I've ever met in my life before. Sorry, any details I might have missed? No details. Mikey just asked if that take place. It is. Ooh, that's good. So the first couple hours in Uganda, we arrived pitch black. <laughs> We were greeted by Timothy, who owns the or who runs the, the Winners Community, and he runs the Cross City Hotel, and he has a church up the hill that is gorgeous. I'm Timothy Bruce Kakoza, and I'm the director of Winners from Uganda. We run Katasi Community School and Winners Secondary School. I'm a pastor of a local church here, Katasi Community Church, and uh, I love love doing it. Katosi is a village of around 10,000 people uh, on the banks of Lake Victoria, the third largest lake in the world. Uh, the majority of, of people uh, are fishermen in this village, and it's, it's been a fisherman's village for a very long time. Uh, <laughs> The people don't have much, but they're still so joyful and content with what they have. They're happy to be. And uh, to give them disc golf is just such a great opportunity. It gives them activity, it gives them an outlet to have fun, to enjoy themselves, kind of take away from the monotony of what they usually do every day. As the course is installed, I hope I'll get more time to use it as a person and also influence my family, my grandkids, my friends at the church, the community, to get involved in this govy. One of the biggest risks and challenges of coming to a place like Uganda is what are we going to do about baskets? Uh, the decision you know, had to be made early on. Are we going to try to ship baskets from the states or from somewhere else, or do we try to find a local that can build them? Uh, we did a lot of research and decided that we along with the board, thought that the best opportunity to get a disc golf course in Uganda was to ship baskets. Uh, with that risk and challenge is that we planned with plenty of time that baskets would be here for our team, but they are unfortunately not. And that's something that when you work in you know, these parts of the world, sometimes things don't go as planned. And what's been really cool with this team and with our project host is their flexibility to adjust. Yeah, that's awesome. Very good. Yeah. Come over here. <laughs> good job. All right, Thrasher time. Right Everyone watch the Thrasher. <laughs> oh. yeah. I don't know, like I'm always worried that they're not going to get hooked and mm -hmm. they get hooked every time. I know. It was so funny when we were throwing and then once everybody was done throwing, we had the kids run and get the discs and we had the little ones and the, I, I mentioned the squeal, you know, it's universal wherever you're from. The squeal when you're running after the disc that you just threw is just so such a joyful moment. And I, I that's one of the things that I love the most to see smiling faces after they throw a disc. So already check that box and there's yep. going to be plenty more of those <laughs> this week. I've never seen so much excitement for a clinic, you know. Like each and every single, like look at them, they just they just can't wait to get their hands on a disc. We're not even starting yet and they just can't wait. They're just pumped, as am I. You want to shake hands with the basket after you throw? Yes. So. <laughs> One of, one of the coolest things I've seen on Instagram in the last couple of years is clips from Zambia and people playing in Zambia. And uh, I, ha I hadn't met Melody or Wilborn until a few days ago, but they are just two of the most generous, loving people I've ever met. And uh, two really good disc golfers. I actually saw Wilborn smack an ace on the first day we were here. He was the first ace in Uganda. But having them here, having someone who's experienced this project and have, have experienced bringing disc golf to a brand new country, um, it's, it's huge for the team because they bring an insight that I do not have, Missy does not have, and they can help us and guide us to make this project even better than it was in Zambia. I've been playing disco since 2015 when the Eagles Wings came to Zambia. The first time disco came to Zambia, it was, uh, ex it was exciting, like we were very excited. We didn't know about it, but we were very excited to learn the game. Disco in Zambia has really grown, whereby like, we have hundreds of kids, adults, like coming to play the game. 
My name is Wilborn Mukombwe. I'm coming from Zambia. I'm a disc golf coach. I teach the kids uh, and the adults and big people. I am three times Zambia champion in disc golf. 2015 is like there was no interest about this game. But for now, even now, if you go in Zambia, you find that all over the course, you find a lot of kids. Most of the kids, they like this game. We have about 50 adult and big people and over 100 of kids playing this game. Again, yes, come back. Uh, one, three, go, go! Yes! That was great. Coming to Uganda, it, you know, the culture is so different. Um, the cities are so different. The roads are completely different. Um, you know, very, very natural. And uh, it's definitely eye-opening and makes me appreciate things that I have back in the United States. But also the culture is so welcoming and so it just feels so warm here, not just temperature wise, it is warm here, but <laughs> also just the way people embrace you and how many people are just recognize you now that you're the disc golf you're the disc golf people and so excited about disc golf you could definitely feel like the small town community and i'm from a small town in the u.s so i it kind of almost was reminiscent of that in a way everyone seems very happy what about very common in those big towns yeah in the big towns but this is a small town <laughs> yeah, disc golf is uh, to me is really special because of that opportunity that you get to walk alongside somebody and interact with them and the accessibility that anybody is welcome to play. You know, most courses are free. Obviously the ones we're putting in are free and open to the public. And it doesn't matter who you are, you can come out and, and be a part of this. When you think about the United States having such a wide variety of disc golf courses, every state has m multiple disc golf courses and then you come to large countries like we're here in Uganda that had zero but so much land and so much um, and an ability to host disc golf courses um, you know it's it's you kind of forget that you know you're so lucky in the United States to have courses just so accessible so to be able to have a foundation like the Paul McBeck Foundation to just go into these underserved communities and teach them a new sport that teaches community, that teaches people to come together and have fun and maybe become competitive. What more could we ask for? That's exactly the mission here is to just expose more people to disc golf and have opportunities to get outside and exercise and have fun. I remember when this game came to Macha, I think we were very excited. Look at these kids. They are uncontrollable. Wherever they go this side, they go that side. And I think we were very excited and they are also excited. I think uh, I'm so grateful to the people that thought of like bringing disc golf here in this community. I think the, co the community will benefit a lot from this disc golf. Disc golf is very much special because of the way we mingle. It's not like in other sports. Throwing, wow, you can share everything. You know, over the course of the first few projects, I kept wondering, like, if it was a different sport, would it have the same impact? And after a year and a half, I really, I really don't think so. I think disc golf is very special. I think the accessibility factor that anyone of any age range can play, any demographic, um, you know, it's, it's accessible to all people. I think the element of the walk, that is so important. It doesn't get stressed enough. When you're playing other sports, it's really competitive. You're breathing hard. You're trying to beat them. Disc golf isn't me versus you. It's me versus the course and you versus the course. So they call it a community builder. And I really agree. I think it is a community builder. I think it brings people together. And most sports, they don't do that on the competitive stage. There's plenty of sports through watching them that it brings people together. Obviously, we're watching the World Cup right now. But through actually playing disc golf, you grow stronger as a community.
That was a good release too. Bye. You good, you good, you good? Yeah. Nice. Hopefully the word will spread and maybe more, pro more, more countries will reach out from Africa and see if we can get more courses anywhere, everywhere. You know, Africa's huge, but if we can, if we can fill it with disc golf courses, you know, that would be the ultimate dream. I think in 10 years, my dream is to have a lot of courses in Zambia and even in Africa. I don't want uh, disco to end here in Uganda and in Zambia. I just want to see like a lot of parts of Africa having this sport because I think it would be even good for us to compete. We need to spread this game, the whole Africa. Five years from now, we need to make another courses in different countries. That is my dream. In order to instill a legacy of disc golf in this community, we need someone to carry on the teaching, to carry on what we're doing here after we're gone. And so we have a good group of young adults and older children that are going to take that responsibility and take it into the future for the younger children. I'll continue teaching the young ones, not only the young ones, even the, even, even the youths. I'll keep on training them and as I also gain more skills. And I want to do more of this. I want to bring disc golf to new countries, new communities in America, because I know personally what disc golf has done for me and a lot of my friends, and I want everyone to experience the, the same. I just want to give a huge shout out to the Paul McBeth Foundation for having me join the project. And that wouldn't have been possible without the support of Ledgestone and their commitment to spreading disc golf. Uh, in Uganda and for Ledgestone even thinking of me to be a part of this project. They uh, are a big hand in what we've done here and now that we have established two courses here we're going to change somebody's life even if it's just one person but I have a feeling it's going to be a lot more so I'm so excited that I was a part of this and so grateful for everybody that's given me the opportunity to be here and to spread the love of disc golf to more people across the world. On behalf of the Professional Disc Golf Association, it is my honor and a privilege to be here with all of you today and to see the opening of this wonderful facility in Katosi, Uganda. Love you, Paul Makadet Foundation. Thank you for all that you've done for us here in Katosi, Uganda. It's going to be memorable that's going to be helpful to our community. Thank you very much. I'm so thankful that it can happen in this generation when I'm here. So I'm just thrilled and I'm so happy that uh, people are catching up, people are getting their message right and do what is necessary.